Hey, my lovely TTs, welcome back to the channel. Looks like Drake is not letting up on Joe Budden. Let's go ahead and get into this. Now, we know Drake decided to drop his album for all the dogs. Joe Budden hopped on his podcast to give his critiques on Drake's album, and he said that Drake sounds like he's making music for the children. His music is childish at this point. He said that Drake's music should be maturing with his age, and he also tells Drake to stop hanging out with the young guys in the industry and stop messing with 25-year-old females. Now, that's when Mr. Sham Champagne Poppy Drake himself decided to respond with this long paragraph to Joe Budden telling Joe Budden that he is just a hater and that he is mad that he doesn't have as much money as him and that he's not doing as much as he's doing at his age. Well it looks like Drake hasn't stopped there. Just today he decided to post on his Instagram and he said thank God for this life and not having to come to rush conclusions on Best Buy podcast mics. Now in this photo dump that he posted to his Instagram he has a picture of of Joe Budden's knee next to some Best Buy podcast equipment child. Now, Joe Budden did respond with what seems like an unbothered photo of him on vacation, just checking his phone. Joe Budden is definitely trying to show that he is not bothered by what Drake has to say. But you know who else is bothered? Drake's father. Drake's father decided to comment on the situation and talk about Joe Budden as well. He said, it's an effing shame that a young artist can't do his own thing and enjoy his own glory without an old hater and effort trying to bust his bubble because he has nothing going on and to mention or put a limit on what age anyone should be dealing with which is none of his god darn business as long as they're of legal age i am sick of these old mf messing with my son if you don't like what he does keep it moving and effort he's not bothering you okay tell me why somebody on twitter decided to respond to what drake's dad said they said i'm not surprised the part that drake's dad was most upset about is the dating younger women basically insinuating and we know that drake's father has dated a couple of younger women within the industry so like i said this is just very laughable at this point this whole situation hopefully drake decides to let this situation go but like i said it's obvious that joe budden did ruffle drake's feathers just a little bit i think that drake should have just paid what joe budden said no mind because now obviously Obviously, Joe Budden is going to be getting more views. I mean, Drake responded to him and now everybody's looking forward to the next podcast because they want to know what Joe Budden is going to respond and say, which is a very smart and strategic business move on Joe Budden's end, sad to say. I mean, negativity does sell. But you guys let me know what you think about that. Now, also talking about Drake, it looks like Drake and Miss Red is definitely really hitting it off with each other. It looks like these two are very, very close friends. He decided to post her today on his insta story and he said thanks for holding me down and blanking ish all summer you are the kindest most solid and i love ya and he tagged miss red now we remember not too long ago drake actually decided to surprise her with a bust down watch and now it looks like he surprised her with flowers and he also decided to repost her on his insta story saying this super super sweet it looks like they have a close friendship with each other let's go ahead and move on to ari ari posted today on her twitter and said that she is having baby fever does Ari actually want to have a baby with money bag yo this is what she posted she said I've been kind of feeling like I want a baby but I just don't want to be pregnant for that long and get that big so she is procrastinating about having a child because she doesn't want that pregnancy weight now we know that Ari did gain a little when she was pregnant with Yosan and she did still have the weight on her after she had Yosan and that's why she's procrastinating about having another baby Do you you think that Ari should just give in and have another baby or do you feel like maybe she should wait it out let's go ahead and move into our next topic because this really surprised me now king harris he recently sat down with funny marco to do an interview now during this interview king revealed some information and some behind the scenes information by the way that we absolutely did not know about the ti and tiny family hustle show like did you know that king actually lived with his grandmother yes ti and tiny would rush to the grandmother's house to pick king up before the film crew would come and film for ti and tiny family hustle show they would have king in the house 
house like he lived in the house with everybody else. But as soon as the film crew would leave, they would drop him right back off at his grandmother's house. So they were basically acting, like I said, like King lived in the house with them, when in actuality, King did not live with them. He actually lived with his grandmother. Now, I was trying to read King's body language during this interview, and to me, it seems like he was pretty sad about revealing this information and the fact that that was happening and that he was not living with everyone else, which I feel like was super, super sad. Now, I don't know if King is just not cool with the family right now, or maybe he just feels like because the show is not going on anymore, he can just reveal this information, which he absolutely has a right to. Like I said, not really sure how T.I. and Tiny would feel about him revealing this information on an interview, but you guys let me know what you think about this in the comment section. Let's go ahead and move on to Krishan, okay? Because it looks like Krishan is definitely getting drama started between her sisters. Now, her older sister, I think this is their oldest sister. You guys can correct me in the comment section. She was recently released from jail, okay? Krishan decides to record her older sister talking about her sister Taziki and how Taziki did not stand up for her during the episode of Baddies when Krishan wanted Taziki to slap Wol Vicky for her. Taziki said that she wasn't a bully, she wasn't going to do it because obviously Wol Vicky just did not want to fight. Well, like I said, yes, this older sister was saying that Taziki was wrong. She should have just fought Wol Vicky for Krishan. It was a demand and plus Krishan is her sister. Like I said, Krishan decided to secretly record her older sister saying this and posting it on her Insta story. It seems like Krishan and even some of her other siblings have a real big problem with their sister Taziki when it seems like Taziki was just trying to do the right thing and not be a bully. Let's go ahead and get into some of these comments. I don't want to say too much about this. One person said, I don't give a F what nobody says. It's a difference between writing for yours and being dumb. I would have told my sister the same thing. The F a like, a like hurt you that much. I would have laughed at my sister and told her to let me know when Ish hit the fan for real. And that's just where the maturity and age difference comes into play with them. Gotta know what's worth it and what ain't. That most definitely was not worth it. Now, I have to agree with that comment. Another person said, Taziki is the only sane one in the family. Everybody else just draining her. Another person said, This is some ghetto-ish and family can indeed send you down the wrong path. I'm glad that girl has her brain and can think for herself because this was nothing but pure ignorance and blank rubbish. Another person said, This is the sister that just came home from jail and she trying to go right back. Now, obviously, Obviously, Krishan has to keep in mind that she's getting advice from her older sister who just came from jail. Obviously, her perspective on things and fighting is going to be different than her sister who has been out of jail for years. You know what I'm saying? Have to keep that in mind. No shade towards Krishan or her sister, but she definitely has to keep that in mind. Nobody's trying to go to jail here, okay? Even though it is a show, I do think that Taziki moves smart in the situation and Krishan really shouldn't be that mad at her. Let's go ahead and move into our last topic. Now, who knew that Lala Milan and Tyler P were actually dating? Today, they popped up on Instagram with these maternity pictures. Yes, these two are expecting a child together. Lala Milan even recently did an interview with a magazine where she talks about her falling in love. So obviously her and Tyler P are supposedly in love and now they're expecting a baby. Now, I believe if they're so much in love, they should have got married first before the baby, but they decided to do it the other way. Congratulations to Lala and Tyler P. You guys let me know how you feel about all these topics, my lovely TTs, in the comment section. Once again, thank you for watching Room for Tea. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on your post notifications so you're notified every time I upload. Follow me on Instagram at Room for Tea with two A's at the end. And like I always say, have a blessed rest of your night. I'll see you in my next video.